say that Nathan Hedge would be by far the, uh, oh, look at this. Deep one here, setting up for Jack Robinson. This is what we came to Tahiti for. Jack gets a bomb. My name is Jack Robinson. I'm from Margaret River, Western Australia, and I'm 26 years old. Jack Robinson is pro surfing's newest dad. Yeah, my son's name is Zen, and my wife's like, we gotta call him Zen. And I'm like, Zen, Zen, okay, Zen, all right, Zen, Zen it is. I still get peed in the face though. I still cough at him. How did you want to attack this heat? I just was not even really thinking, just go and surf. Yeah, it's different now because I have a baby, so it feels like the time is not as long. I'd come to events before and I'd just sitting around twiddling your thumbs, and now I've got a baby to play with. All these people say they're grateful for life, but once they have a baby, then you really know what the kind of meaning is for life. It's a whole different level of life. Everything you do, even if it's little things, I would just do things and just not even think before. Like when I would go surf before, I was just like, oh yeah, another surf. Now I'm like excited to go surf even more. There is nobody that knows that piece of reef better than Jack Robinson. And he does it again. Robinson has gone back to back. For Jack Robinson, I think he's always been that guy, the prodigy, win a world title. He's not a guy where he needs good waves to win. He could win in challenging heats. When someone's crawling up his back, he'll enter that space and he has such a present moment in himself where he is there. And I feel like just everyone kind of fires me up now. Like from Kelly to the youngest guy on tour, it'll just fire me up. Any little thing kind of gets me excited. That's after having the baby. I just live for those moments, like when, when someone else is trying to battle me, like I'll just, I'll just live for it. Jack's 2024 world title campaign is sure to be a family affair. Like Julia's my light. She vibrates high vibration and she gives me a lot of light, you know, for life. If I could combine the two, the family and the competing, and this could be a good combination. I need to be a world champion because it's just the ultimate feeling, and I will be one day. Jack Robinson now in the priority situation, striking, oh, high line, yanks up on the rail, what? exit for Jack Robinson, right on the hooter as the priority heat ended, and Jack Robbo's heat went into the priority heat. He's an old man, but he's, he's in like a 35-year-old body. You know, he's kept himself in good shape. Here we go, Kipes. Robo, Jack Robinson driving through and comes out easily. And if Slater needed any motivation, there you go, Jack Robinson. That's not, it's going to come under par. Here we go. Love, Jack's up. Love the inside was. Here comes Robinson laying down that rail, hangs on to it, transitions in the barrel. Jack Robinson punches free. <laughs> Back into the pit one more time. Oh my goodness. When you're in sync and in rhythm with the ocean, it's like part of his body or something. He is connected today. He, he is the man to beat. And he's going again. Late drop. Well positioned. Deep. Has the control to stick it. And will come flying through the barrel once again. So three ways, three big numbers. That might have been better than the seven. The, you know, the style of wave, the, the way that he's um, been in a rhythm out here, it, you would have to say he's just got the mana. Uh, yeah. As they say in Hawaii, he's got that thing of, a, of a, a local vibe. And, you know, nobody's had that today. Nobody's come close to being on this many good waves over and over and over again. And he has put in the hard yards. He's, as you know, like, he's done so much time out here. He's got that energy. The, he's got a relationship with the wave. And, you know, he's done a lot of work just to get Jack Robinson, wave number three again, and wow. the backup. How did he do that? Good to be home for Jack Robinson as he's rolling in now. Big bottom turn, a big open face hook for the local boy. Driving off the bottom, hits the lip, and rides away. Massive two-turn combo for Jack. Quarterfinal number four continues with a peak popping up. Jack Robinson pulls up and under. Comes flying out of the barrel once again and nails it off the top. Robbo looking for another big section. As we see live action, this is a big wave. Important wave for Jack Robbo. He needs a six, five, eight. Two big turns out the back. Their quick setup there. Gets onto the open face. 
almost tickling the rail with a grab right there. Ops not to do that. Now he's speeding through this mid portion of the wave, setting things up. You know when Jack Robinson starts to coil, something big's about to happen. Deep bottom turn, big layback snap. Another opportunity on this inside section. And he's loving it. Was it a 658? Maybe in a beach break, you'd see that number pretty inflated. Uh -oh. As we go into the pit with Jack Robinson. Robbo flies out of the barrel into a big vertical snap. Wraps it, now paces his way on this soft shoulder. Definitely famous for being one of the best tube riders in the world. Whether it's a Tahiti pipeline, a right hand point break, the box, he got to show it off on the takeoff here. Nice clean car, just wants to stay on his feet. Jack Robinson looking to finish. And nice solid end section move. And that was probably the loudest we've heard Robinson yell after an amazing wave. These guys work as a team right now, and they feel their team's winning. Exactly. As we go into a rotation for Jack Robinson, he will get the air reverse. Draws the layback. And now back off the lip again. Robinson hunting a 7.37 here. Got a quick check to look at the sets with the downtime. Off the bottom, there's the wrap. Looking for a solid end section maneuver. He'll ride away. Let's see charges big waves. Does a lot of great things as we're watching Jack Robinson pull into a beast of a wave. And showing off that unbelievable ability inside the two. He came down the, the hard way too. Didn't really find the transition he was looking for. No, this is an amazing one. I mean, he saw Kolohe earlier and this is, he got sky high and he had to wrestle it down. And yeah, he acknowledged that. That was a difficult, that was a really difficult alley to land. He had to land right in that bounce of the, uh, as the wave broke halfway down the face. And he's super stoked. Yeah, it calls for the cab. And the numbers coming through, it's looking pretty solid. Really lofty. In fact, got to a point in that alley-oop where he was able to tweak that tail a little bit and just accentuated the height. You know, taking off pretty much outside, going around Kelly, big swooping turn. I mean, look at the power and the flow you can get off of that bigger part of the wave. Coming in here again, nice, beautiful wrapping turn. He's one of the first surfers I've seen besides John John. Wrap it back up into the whitewash, and there you go. Just, um, you know, I believe I can fly. <laughs> Jack Robinson doing his impression of uh, Qantas Airlines right here. <laughs> <laughs> the wave didn't have like a massive wall on it, but he knew that it would have had that nice sucky inside section for him to do something like this. Almost took like a floater into me. The adjustment's <laughs> incredible that Jack Robinson was able to do throughout that maneuver. So he created an amazing brand where he can actually call up some of his good friends at Shape, bring, bring them a part of uh, his program, ride tons of good boards from Shapers from all over the world. Little pump there under the lip for Jack Robinson. He'll step off, super casual. Back to Meanwhile, back. Robinson, is he inside this? Is he coming out? He is. Jack Robinson is absolutely flying through a barrel here. Shut the front door. Jack Robinson points at the panel. He ain't done yet. Big meaty carve down again. And just belting it for good measure one more time. How about that stuff from Jack oh Robinson? Oh my gosh. Because I mean, it was all about quality on this one, Rosie. Yeah, tricky takeoff there from Jack. He paddles in hard, digs that back arm in for the layback. So first maneuver really strong. Now kind of goes through the motions of JB. Waits for this one to stand up and deliver. Swoops through that cutback, staying high and tight. Now he starts to lay into that rail, just holds onto it for such a long time, such trust in his equipment. As opposed to half sleep. And in a, in a situation like this, you've got four surfers. As you can see, Jack Robinson getting actually wow. pitted. Wow. Hello. That might be a 10. I used to do that in NSSA, and it could barely catch a wave with no priority. Oh, look He's at, at it this. again, Jack Robinson, couple sections for Robbo. Wow. Oh, goes to the second one and what? Jeez. Well, I guess the preparation paid off, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> he was sitting out there watching it for a long, long time. Five, four, 
the championship to Ethan Ewing. Best shot, he's sitting number 17 currently on the leaderboard. Jack Robinson up and riding, looking for a barrel, pulls into a cavern, finds an exit. And that is an incredible start for the surfer from Western Australia. You gotta go for the layback cavern. I'm not mad at it. Big fan. Oh, and here we on. go again. <laughs> Jack Robinson. Oh, sealed. I mean, come on. Under priority again. So, this is huge right here. Zeke still has a chance. Jack Robinson eyeing, up, eyeing this medium-sized wave. Oh, big slashing snap there and finds yet another barrel. Can he come out? I didn't doubt him for a second. Here we go. Looking at this section, nice and throaty. Will it stay wide open? Jack Robinson. Spending some time deep in the barrel. The back door is improving on his numbers.